guys, Servarn back here, and today I am reviewing Rustler for the PS5. I believe it's also on PC. Um, so, I'm going to go over my five categories I normally do, give them a score from 1 to 10, and then average them up and give you a score. Uh, so, Rustler, let's start with graphics. I'm going to go over graphics, performance, the gameplay slash story, replayability, and then fun factor. Uh, start with graphics. So, this was, this was kind of a tough one for me, because these graphics, seriously, I think could have been done on like a, a 360 or a PS3. They're not great. It's nothing um, spectacular. Uh, and In fact, I'm not sure. It may run at 30 frames a second. I think it is in 4K, but they're just simple graphics, as you can see. Character models are just like, it looks like something you'd make in like RPG Maker, honestly. Uh, so, Rustler, before I really get started, uh, now that I've already started, Rustler is basically a Grand Theft Auto 1 modern, not remake, because it's not Grand Theft Auto, but it's inspired game, right? So here's your mini-map you see. Um, it's not a big world, but it has a lot of things in common with like Grand Theft Auto. It's got... Uh, you know, you can steal horses instead of cars. It's like medieval time, Grand Theft Auto. But even Grand Theft Auto might one might be more um, complex than this. So that's what the game is. But anyway, graphics, as you can see, they're not bad, um, but nothing uh, PS5 worthy. You know, it's not pushing it by any stretch of the imagination. They're just okay, not great. Um, so graphics, I give a 5 out of 10. You know, it's just right there in the middle. It's nothing, it's just nothing to brag about, but nothing to complain about, um, in my opinion. So 5 out of 10. Uh, performance. So, this game is kind of tough. So the performance. It did okay for the majority of the game. There was nothing terrible. Um, I did have one hard crash. And then one time it loaded into a black screen um, where I could hear the character moving around so I could hear my actions on the screen, but nothing uh, nothing was happening. You know, I couldn't see anything. Um, so other than that, the only really issue I ran into was uh, you'll see, well, I'll have a clip of it. It's about 13 seconds. Um, I... It was actually right after I beat the game. I don't know what happened. If the, the RAM was already allocated elsewhere. I don't know what they did. Uh, but something happened to where it was uh, screen tearing. The frames dropped to like maybe 10 frames a second. Something bad happened. Um, and I have footage of it because I was hoping it wasn't going to continue. Because I did want to go for the Platinum after this. Uh, not because it's a great game. Just because it's janky <laughs> okay so performance i guess one word to describe performance would be janky it's uh so it only crashed once i only had screen tearing once but the performance like just riding your horse around you hit something and it, I mean, it just stops you and you may not even see what you're hitting uh because it's you know 2.5d it's like a top down uh almost your character, you hit triangle to get on your horse and he'll go and judder and go around the horse twice before he gets on. You'll get stuck on obstacles a lot. Uh, what are some other things that just bothers you? Driving, a, draw, driving sorry. A horse and carriage is almost, it's infuriating sometimes because it's hard to just maneuver this stuff. Like, you'll just get stuck and <laughs> it's, just, it's like a very low budget indie game i don't know what the budget was on this game but it cannot be very high and the team cannot be very big uh it's almost like two man, two man team made this game and if that was the case i'd be pretty impressed right uh but you know it's not a full price game so you got to give it that it's only like a 20 dollar game but their performance is rather poor, not just because it crashed and great or black screened me and did the frame drop thing. Those are all bad, but it only did all of those things one time. So 
yeah, it's going to get knocked for that. But the real issue I have with performance is just the jankiness of the game. Um, like, I I'm trying to platinum this game. And the, the what I'm talking about, the navigation in the game, getting around, getting stuck on random, like a piece of wood laying on the ground. Um, like you have one of the trophies is to kill five NPCs in five seconds. Well, it's, it's so wishy-washy. You don't know if it's going to work right or if you hit them in the back, it's supposed to kill them like in one hit with the sword I have and stuff. And sometimes it doesn't and blocking's iffy. So anyway, the performance, I know I went on on that, but I'm going to give a five out of ten because... It only did the bad stuff once, but the jankiness really hurts this game. So, 5 out of 10. Um, so now we're at gameplay slash story. Um, this is another one that's just kind of... The gameplay suffers because of their performance. Because the gameplay loop is a ton of fetch quests. Um, go over here, do that. Kill this many people in this, many, in this time frame or... Uh, uh, basically, like one, just for example, one activity has you, and it has a skill tree, which is really neat. I like this this whole thing. So it has a skill tree, um, and I'll I'll talk more about that here in just a little bit. But uh, so it'll have you. There's one activity where you have to get people to church, which is kind of interesting, right? So, um, but essentially, all you're doing is you go and punch somebody or hit them with a stick, and it tells them to go to church, and you have to do like you know, 14 people in a minute and a half or something like that, right? But, you know, although it's not a fetch quest, you're essentially going somewhere, hitting it. It's it's a fetch quest, glorified fetch quest. Another quest or activity in the game is collecting dead bodies. And that's just a fetch quest. You go get the dead body, you go back to the graveyard. Go get a dead body, go back to the graveyard. So they're not very... It's not very interesting, the quests, especially the side quests. I did every side quest in the game because uh, I'm going for the platinum. And if you didn't do that, I think you would enjoy this game more and just did the main story. The main story is decent. It's not great. It's not, it's not long. Um, I think this is a seven-hour game if you go right through it. It took me about, tw or I'm at about 12. It'll probably take me 13 to 14 to platinum the game. Um, which I'm only like three trophies shy. Um, and the jankiness is just holding me back um, from doing that. But I am going to do it because although this isn't a difficult game to platinum, it is an aggravating game to platinum, which will make it kind of funny to platinum the game, which is kind of enticing to me. Uh, my next category is replayability. This one's going to be awful. It gets a two. Uh, once you beat this game, Unless you're just itching for frustration, you're not going to want to play it again. Uh, it's a very interesting game because nothing like this comes out. I like it because it's different. Um, and getting the Platinum will be kind of a, um, a flex just because it's funny that I put the time and work in to get it. Uh, but, you know, <laughs> it's not great. Uh, so fun. I'm oh, sorry. Replayability at two. Last category is fun factor. Uh, this is actually my highest rated uh, category. Not because I was just, you know, skipping upstairs to play it, but because the jankiness kind of adds to the enjoyment for me, personally. Um, it, it is, it's made me laugh. The humor is cringy. Alright? Like, cringy sometimes. There are rappers in the Middle East, people beatboxing on the street. You can't make this up. Uh, it's, it's hard to even uh, describe. As you can see, the horses, the horse police have, police have sirens. It's ridiculous. This game is not meant to be taken seriously. Um, it's just, it's ridiculous. Okay, uh, but that, a few times it did make me laugh. Pimp a horse, I mean, come on. Like, pimp my ride. It's ridiculous. And as you can see, I'm getting stuck on stuff. It's so frustrating. Um, but anyway, so... Some of the, the humor did make me laugh. They, uh, I'll put some screenshots of a few things that were said in the game that are kind of, you know, uh, cringy slash funny. You might find them funny. So I gave Fun Factor a 7 out of 10 because I did have a good time with the game. Although it is janky, strange, cringy at times, there is some fun to be had, especially... If you just got a little patience and you enjoy video games. I enjoy video games. This is a, a bizarre one, but I did have some fun with it, so I gave it a 7 out of 10. Um, so just to go back through and review, uh, graphics of 5, performance of 5, gameplay slash story a 6, 
replayability a 2, fun factor a 7. And if you average those out, you get a 5 out of 10. And then I'm going to go over some notes that I uh, wrote about the game. I wrote janky, exclamation point, okay? Um, it is super janky. Um, you're about to see just some of the corniness I'm talking about right here. You can see a dude beatboxing on the street. I just had to stop and capture that. Um, or too many fetch quests, which I completely agree with. There is just, there's, they need more original quests. Um, now, they did the most I think they could do with a glorified fetch quest, but essentially everything you do in the game is a fetch quest. Go over here, go over there. Um, all right, so to watch this coming up is the issue with the frame rate. You can see it tearing, frame rate drops pretty bad, and it's tearing, screen tearing bad, right? And I had to, you know, ha or close the game and reopen it, and somehow that corrected it. Not sure why I did that, but uh, anyway, I'm going to add some screenshots, and you can see now. Um, and just a few more uh, notes. Uh, buying property was a bonus I didn't mention early, earlier. So this is really neat. Uh, there was probably 10 properties you could purchase, and some of them, they all had different benefits, some of which were like it would accumulate money. Like you could rent them out. You could stop by periodically and... Uh, you know get that money I wish they would have done more with that extended the game longer um, made more stuff to buy I thought that was really cool they added that in there um, you know some some properties would provide you with weapons you could you know come pick up or uh, food that would give you health which was neat um, and that's that's really my last note on the game so I enjoyed the game for what it is. You know, you got to think this game brand new. I think I got it for 9.99. So, I think it may have come out came out uh, brand new when it first released at 20 bucks. So, it's worth the money, especially for $10. It's of course it's worth it. 7 hours of stupid dumb fun. So, if you enjoy that kind of thing, uh